Hi everyone, welcome to my garden in Somerset. I thought I'd do a quick little video to show you um, how I manage it for wildlife and really just to show you how um, you can make a lot for wildlife out of such a small space. This is my garden. It's tidy. You can see I've got a little um, border along here, the oil tank, washing line, little hedge at the back, bird feeders, more borders, more borders, and vegetables in the background. So from the center here, it's a few meters square. It's very, very small. Um, a few things that I do for gardening. Um, one of the key things you'll notice is the lawn. I leave long patches um, along the edges here where you get lots of um, yellow composite flowers like this. We have ragwort flowering. Um, on this one at the top there, you can see there is a cinnabar moth caterpillar. Um, you, these yellow flowers are brilliant for um, lots of hoverflies that use them for nectar. Um, and I do let select ragworts um, flower. I let wildflowers go. We've got a huge teasel here, um, taller than me, just coming into flower here. Um, great for um, uh, species that like nectar and you get micro moths that live inside the teasel heads, they're caterpillars. It's good to have shrubs in your garden. This one here is a nice flowering one. I've got a rose. Uh, it has flowers, it's already flowered, then it produces rose hips and you can see here the defoliation of the um, large garden rose sawfly caterpillars. They make their homes on here, the flies are all flying around um, earlier in the year, bright yellow, food for other things. Um, I have lots of this plant, which many of you will know. Uh, this is red valerian, uh, brilliant thing. It seeds, I kind of let it grow in defined clumps, weeding out of other places. Hummingbird hawk moth really likes it. Um, another really good patch of long grass here. It's mown a lot less, um, gets really long. And again, spiders and other insects will inhabit these areas. And then as right next to it down here, you've got shorter patches, bits of bare ground for, for mining bees. Um, bird feeders, key part of any wildlife garden. Nothing in mine at the moment, I need to fill them up. Hedgerow here, uh, you've got privet um, flowering. So I try not to cut it too much, uh, but the landlord doesn't necessarily like that sometimes. Um, I grow some fruit, so we've got a gooseberry bush here, not doing too well. More flowers, sweet williams, uh, these nice daisies. Uh, these are finished flowering now, so I can't show you them in all their glory. But here you've got foxgloves, I love them, they seed everywhere. You get three plants every year, you can move them around the garden. This is my main flower border. Lots of great stuff here. Lavender, the bees love lavender. It's really easy to grow, bushes out, lovely flowers. Scabious, I've got a few different types of scabious in the garden. Um, the bees love this. Uh, marjoram, a great herb, grows massive flowers. Game pollinators love this one. Mint, mint is a nice one. You can obviously use it in drinks and cooking. Uh, it does flower, not flowering yet, and you get um, the mint moth, little purple moth. Um, in your garden. Another big scabious down there. Uh, geraniums, good plant, really nice, produce lots of flowers. This one here just about to flower is a salvia, uh, produces these really tall nice flowers. Um, and then coming around here I have my bit where I try and grow some food. So I've got some tomato plants growing, onions, Got some thyme there, fever few, lovely flowers, lots of courgettes, cucumber, and other vegetables. So I hope that shows you what you can do in a very small space um, and trying to cram in as much for wildlife as possible. Cheers.